It's been a couple of weeks, but finally, the longest cliffhanger in football manager history will get a conclusion today. We need to get a victory against Bromley to keep ourselves in a job. Can we do it? Let's go and find out in today's episode of Rerouting South End. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And yeah, mahoosive video today. Mahoosive game. We very much need a victory today to keep ourselves in a job. We've got Bromley, so it's a winnable game. I do think it's a winnable game, but you never know. Hopefully, we can get the result in today's game. We're going to get into that in just a moment. But just before we do get started properly with this video, I do just want to apologise for you guys having to wait about two weeks for this video. I've had some technical issues over the last couple of weeks, over the Christmas period. and my external, my external hard drive decided to stop working just before Christmas. So I had to send off... A and get another one that came that one didn't work send that back finally i've got one that works so yeah in all that time i've lost everything i needed to record it was all stored on my old external hard drive but now everything is good everything is good to go let's hope the south end players are good to go as well and as well just before we do get into the video if you've been enjoying this series as much as i have and if you hope it carries on Pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content and other games that I've got ideas to bring to the channel. As always, I always have ideas, but this time I think they're actually going to happen. So yeah, subscribe to the channel. And so, shall we see how we've been getting on since we've last been together? We was last together on video for our game against top of the table, Notts County. We got a 1-1 draw in front of a massive crowd of 8,373 over at Meadow Lane. It was a decent performance, I thought. We got the draw with the late equaliser for Matthew Dennis. I thought that was a good result. And then talking of good results, we went away to Dorking in the FA Trophy third round, beat them 3-0, Matthew Dennis getting himself a hat-trick, including two goals in second half injury time, and Lee Novak as well in the 87th minute. In fact, all of our goals came after the 84th minute. So, yeah, very nice late win that. And then we went away to Hayes Lane to take on today's opponents, Bromley. We got ourselves a 1-1 draw. Etienne Camara and Matthew Dennis getting the goals for either team. Felt we should have won that game, maybe just about on edge. But a draw may be the fair result. Really hope we don't get a repeat of that today. We have so badly need a win. And then after that, we went and played against Barnet at home. Lee Novak scored once again. We'll have a look at him in a minute because he has had a very good start to his South End career. He scored for us after five minutes to put us ahead. But then they got two back late on in the 62nd and 79th minute to nick the game from us. So that leaves us in the tricky predicament we are in. As, yeah, we really need a win. We are 16th in the league, which for Southend, a team that has just come down, we shouldn't really be doing that. I know they're struggling in real life, but you would still hope they'd be doing a little bit better than this. So, yeah. If we just go and have a look at the club vision, you'll see just how upset the board are with me at the minute. So here we are on the club vision screen. Manager performance of E. 
E. I have never, ever, ever seen that before on Football Manager. I don't think I've ever had a rating like that before. At least if I have, I've not noticed it, which has been good for my confidence. But my gosh. Yeah, E. And what are they upset about? They're upset about us losing to Woking, about us losing to Barnet and drawing with Yeovil. But they are pleased that I've got a good level of support in the squad and that the atmosphere is good. But as far as our end of season targets, Vanarama National League reached a playoff. Very disappointed. FA Cup reached the first round. We managed that. FA Trophy is not important. So it's just the league they're very unhappy about, which I suppose you can understand. And so, big game. Let's not hold it off any longer. Let's go and show you the team that I've picked for today's game. This is the team for today's game. We've got Harry Seedon in goal, Clements, White, Hobson, Atkinson are our back four for today. Clements and Atkinson, they've been put back onto a support role after being on defence for the last couple games, just because I want to try and give it everything today to try and get the win. And then in the middle of the park, we've got a go-go as the ball-winning midfielder, alongside guard as our deep-lying playmaker. And then up front, we've gone for Nathaniel George, Ferguson, Dennis and Novak as we switch up to a 4-2-3-1. For the first time, I think, this season, just because our scouts have said that this formation is the one Bromley are most vulnerable to facing. So hopefully our scouts are right. And now, let's go and get into the dressing room. Here we are in the dressing room. I think I'm going to say, I think it's time we shut a few people up. And that's got most of the players motivated. That's nice to see. That's a good start. And now go with the old got to have faith. And pretty much everybody, minus what, two or three, is motivated. So now prediction time. 2-0 us. I believe in us today. Come on, Southend. 2-0. First highlight of the game. We're 20 minutes in. The Bromley keepers headed it away, but we've got it back. Guard with it. Forward to Dennis. Dennis, who has been our star man as of late, is in the box and he's had a shot. But their man, Van Stappershoff, has flung it over the bar. And now, come on. A goal here would be nice. Get this right on Novak's head. Guard crosses it in. Cheek has the temerity to head it away. And that ends that particular highlight. Five minutes later and we're back again with another highlight. Clements to Agogo. Agogo forward to Nathaniel George. Back to Clements. We are keeping the ball nicely. You can see on the match stats, we've had 60% of the ball today. Which is nice to see. But we do need to get forward a bit more like that. And Novak has a long shot and it's hit the post. Oh, we're getting there. A goal is coming. Oh, just before the halftime whistle, we've got a corner ball. And Novak's headed it just wide. And I think that's going to be the last action of the first half. As indeed it is. We have dominated this game. Nine shots to Bromley's two. Three on target to their none. 51% of the ball. That's all we've ended up with. I was hoping we was going to end with a bit more after that very good start. But still, XG of 0.65 to then 0.09. Surely a goal is coming from somewhere. I'm going to go pump my fists. Don't lose faith. A few people are motivated. And again, let's just get everybody as confident as I can. Most of them are motivated, apart from Lee Novak, which is worrying. Let's see, what else can we change? I'm going to put Nathaniel George on as an inside forward on attack. And then I think that's going to be the only change for now. Or well, actually, now what we're going to make, we're going to make Lee Novak a target forward on attack. And so, those are the changes. Come on, guys. We've got this, surely. 
Okay, 35 minutes left to go in the game. It's early, but we've made a couple of changes. Ashby Nathaniel George is off because he's got a bit of an injury. And so we've gone 4-2-4. Rhys Murphy has also come on for Nathan Ferguson, who doesn't look the happiest player in the world. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get ourselves a win. As actually, you know what? I've just had a fault. We're going to go slightly more direct as well. So, come on, lads. All we need is one goal. I will take that right now. Come on, Southend. 63 minutes gone. First highlight of the second half. Dennis has got the ball off our throw-in. Goes to White, who plays the ball to Clemens in space. And Clemens has hit the post. We've hit, we've hit the post twice today. Oh, it's not going to happen, is it? Oh, a minute later, we've got another highlight. A go-go into Pearson. Pearson crosses it to Atkinson on the other side of the pitch. He goes for a sign. He's hit the post. Three times. What is going on with our lads? Oh, wow. Non-stop highlights. This is what I do like to see. A go-go to Clements, who crosses it in. Minoga heads it away. Guard to Novak. Novak in the box, plays it back to Atkinson. Atkinson to guard, to a go-go. To Pearson. He's got a man out wide if he wants him. He does. Clements, just taking his sweet time with the ball, goes past his man eventually, crosses it in. Novak with the header, and that's wide. How are we not winning this game of football? Just over 15 minutes left. We've gone attacking because I really, really need the result today. And Bromley have got the ball. Shotton into Soumni. Into Partlington. Trotter. Don't you dare, Trotter. Cheek. No, no. Oh, Whiteley's in. Whiteley's in. Oh, going attacking was a mistake. Going attacking was a mistake. How are we losing? Look, look at those stats. How are we losing this game of football, lads? Oh, no. Here we are on the highlight. Just much, much too easy for Whiteley to get in between our defence. I think that might be the end, lads. We're making a few more instructional changes. We're distributing to the target forward. We're counter-pressing. We are focusing play through the middle and shooting on sight. Come on. How are we losing this? Oh, no. Bromley have got a corner. It's Bingham with it. A go-go thankfully heads it away, but it only goes as far as Dennis. And it's Dennis in their colours. It's not our Matthew Dennis, unfortunately. Trotter to Dennis. We need to get this ball back. We have. Guard. Clements goes long. Can Murphy head this on to somebody? No. But we do get it back. It's Pearson. Play the ball. Play the ball. How is he? Why? Why are you doing this to me, Pearson? Cross it now. Finally, he does. Novak with a header. And that's gone over. We could have had four or five today. Oh, my days. I I don't know how we've lost that game of football. Those stats say we should have won the game easily. 22 shots to 5. 5 on target to their 2. 1.39 xG to their 0.49. 55% of possession. 90 passes completed. Everything in our favour, apart from the average rating... I'm at a loss. I, I don't know what I could have done differently. I had to push for it, I think. What do you think? Let me know down below. Was I right to go attacking or should I left it? Should I have left it on positive? Because we was doing well. I don't know. Well, I'm going to say I'm proud of your efforts. Because that was a decent performance. But, well, let's go and see. If we've been sacked or not. See you in a minute. Well, Ron Martin has sent me the shortest email in the history of emails to tell me that he has decided to terminate my contract. Not a massive surprise, if you ask me. But very, very gutting. I was properly enjoying this series. But... 
that brings it to an end. And it does give me a chance to show you guys my newest prop that I've bought for these videos. I bought this in anticipation of me getting sacked. So, one second. You can see it here. It is, if I can get it off the table, it is a punch bag. It is a punch bag. So, give me a second. I'm about to welly up. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. Let's do it again. Let's one more time. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. But, yep, that brings this series to an end. If you've enjoyed it, and if you've enjoyed this video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content. And yeah, I told you I was going to let you know about other ideas I've got for a new series now we've finished. Here, there is a team in Wales that are called Clantwit, I believe it is. They're quite good on Twitter. Their Twitter account is really quite good. So I'm thinking of doing a series either with them, doing a European journeyman, but have my manager profile be a random country from around the world. Or, I would like to be the Argentinian second division team, Almirante Brown, because I've got their shirt. It's really nice. I'll put a photo of me with it on in the edit. And so... Those are the three options I'm thinking of. I'm going to put a poll up on Twitter in a couple of days once you've all had a chance to watch this. And so, yeah, follow me over on Twitter for that, at TaylorMGaming. And that's me done with Southend. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.